All right, in this video we're going to talk about how to upload your color wheel. And most of you by now have it decorated and on a string. Um, and your goal for uploading to Artsonia is that you do a good video that shows all the different colors of your color wheel and that there's no distractions in the background. So this is an example of one that's already been uploaded. And you'll notice that they did it against the whiteboard. Um, I think that's a great idea. I would like you all to do that with the exception of um, maybe raise it up a little bit so we're not seeing that bottom rail. But I'm going to show you this video. And that is about the right speed. You'll notice it goes at least one turn, if not closer, to two. Um, if it goes a little faster and it starts to slow down, that's okay. This is not meant to be a long video, but it's also not sh so short that we can't see the entire um, color of all the or parts of the color wheel. If you go to Artsonia, you should be able to take a video. Um, it says photo or video, and that's the ideal way to upload it to Artsonia. But if for some reason Artsonia is not loading it or it doesn't allow you to do that, you can go to the iPad's camera, take a video that way, and then go back to Artsonia and upload it through your um, library. I believe it's photo library or video library. Once you get done with your color wheel, that means you've decorated it, you have put a string on it, you have uploaded to Artsonia, answered all the questions in complete sentences, then you can finish your positive and negative space um, drawing. And this is another student's example. You can see that what they did on the um, left side, they copied and did exactly on the right side because this is a symmetrical design with positive and negative space. And there, it is ready to go on Artsonia, so you can upload it, answer the questions in complete sentences, and you're, then you would be done with it. So use this day as a catch-up day to get both of those things done.